Okay, so we know that 5 times 5 is 20, well, it's 25, and 25 times 5 is 125. So that means for this to be true, y would have to equal 3. Okay, so this entire term just becomes 3. So that gives us 3 plus log base 5 of y plus log base 5 of z. And that is your answer. Oop, clean that up a little. Looks a little messy there. There we go. Okay, so any questions on that one? All right, I'll leave that up for a few more seconds. Now we're going to look at the quotient rule. Okay. Quotient rule for logarithms. Okay. So again, we're just looking for all real numbers, or all re positive real numbers, can't forget that part. For all positive real numbers, and we'll make it M and N. And again, we know our base can't equal 1. log base b of m divided by n is going to equal log base b of m minus log base b 